I had um you're both married. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um I I should ask you guys about this situation cuz I've been single for a, a long time and I had a girl that I was talking to a little bit. Um she was away for a little bit a while. I forgot exactly what she did. She, she maybe she said she was going to try to get me something and then she she couldn't end up getting for me. But she was like, "Yeah, I was trying to get you this thing at the market, but then I couldn't end up bringing it back, but I you know I was thinking about you or whatever like that." And I was like, "Oh, that's what's up." And uh then she goes, "You know what? I was going to surprise you in Portland, but uh you know, I tried to switch the tickets and everything like that, but it just didn't work out." Uh-huh. And I was like, "Oh, okay." And then she goes, "You know, that's the second time I told you I tried to do something for you and you didn't give me any reaction so i'll never do that again and i i'm like you want me to react for <laughs> thinking of doing yeah. something <laughs> so i'll never consider the, <laughs> doing anything yeah, that, yeah right. i don't i don't agree with that at all it's just like i was I, my mind exploded i was like hold on hold on so i have to thank you for, for not the doing least something. amount of effort yeah. possible the net worth of your thought resulted in zero we're still at the same place. How much so, appreciation? So while the thought is delightful, and I'm proud that your brain is firing on all synapses, yeah. uh, it truly had no effect it's on It's basically just, you, she was just giving a compassion test for you. She was in a little barometer. She's also, like, but, this is how but nice also, I am. But what, do you, what do you think but about But nice this? is execute. Doing the gesture. Right, you, like, you walk by a homeless person, and also, you're like, I thought about getting she, also, would you only f- get that once. You only get that, oh, I was going to do a thing, but then it ended up working out, and then the people go, oh, okay, well, thank you for the gesture, or whatever. But when you do the second and third time, I mean, people are like, well, now what are you doing? What is this? Is Come this just through. a way of this is like yeah. a, this is like a George Costanza like move where they're like donate to the human fund? You know what I mean? Where it's just a fake I don't charity. Watch Oh, man. I don't watch Seinfeld, bro. Damn, Corny dude. ass show. Corny ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I mean, going to walk in the door weird. Uh, <laughs> Comedic mean, genius. <laughs> you, really are a, you really are a white guy that watched Martin. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I am. I watched Martin, bro. I did it's tell. so much funnier. I really did. It's oh, so man. much funnier, God. dude. I, I enjoy both. It's, but yeah, what it's is so funny sitcom. about Kramer? I don't get it. It's not cra- Kramer. Is ju- it's, just a, it's just a character. That's like yeah. just one. He's also from Long Island, so it's kind of... It, I I mean, Jerry has a very Long Island sensibility. Long Island Jew thing is what it is. Yeah. But, they, but also, it was all paced in Manhattan, which is where you grew up, so that should be like a... Yeah, uh, I related to none of it. Yeah, well, it was I don't a think different you part watch. Oh, we got in trouble parking. Who has a car? What life do you live? I think you, you gotta watch... Uh, no, but he, he didn't have a car. Jerry he didn't, was Jerry a, didn't a have highly a car. successful George's, comedian George's, that did two sets a week. George's, <laughs> yeah. George's parents That's had That's what a I didn't like, is how often he was available. Bro, I was a weekend headliner. Fuck that. He weekend headlining. He always travel. Yeah, he was just doing like the California comic of being like, I'll just go on the road on weekends and then I'm Guys, good. I don't know what he did. I, there was a big thing with the fucking mailman. <sighs> Guys, I mean, you just could like, do this about any just, show. You could be like, oh, I don't know. No, it's like, you've heard my point about this, right? Why Martin's funnier to me? No, but you don't have to make that point. I'm just saying, I will. like, it's Martin just... would make fun of Gina's head every episode, yeah. right? And also force his tongue in her mouth. Well, we'll get there. <laughs> we'll get there. But he'd make fun of Gina's head every episode, right? How big it was, right? That's not the character's head. Yeah, that's the real woman's head. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Right? That's not written in the script. Right. That's Martin Uh, making fun of another human being. I related to that, right? Yeah. As a kid, I'm not going, look how these storylines intertwine in a clever way, right? I'm just going, make fun of that bitch's big fucking head. (laughs) (laughs) Right? That's what I'm thinking. So it was hilarious to me in the moment. I'm sure if I go back and watch Seinfeld, like, wow, this is a real clever. You never watched Kirby and Love Curve. So that it's Love dude, curb. it's the same thing just earlier is all that is. Curb, I, I, I curb. prefer Curb to be perfectly honest, but I do like. But Seinfeld. But Seinfeld was smart because he just surrounded himself with genius, like really good actors. I like Seinfeld as he, a guy. Seinfeld's the worst of the show. Sure, he's the least funny. He's sure. the least like it. But but like uh, Jason Alexander is fucking an all time great ca- as George Costanza. He might be. I didn't hook me, guys. Yeah. I don't know what to tell you. I don't even know how we got here. Lock your door. For Kramer? Yeah, like... He was he, lonely. He was a lonely... No, soul. but lock your door. Like, if you don't like him coming in... Oh, he liked him coming in. He did like him coming yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, he was lonely. You come into my fucking apartment two times oh, like I that I just with realized who you kind of look like. Who's that? Cody from Step by Step. Day by day? Fresh start oh, over, man. different every way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The people we know. Uh, and he's the, he's the whoa, <laughs> bro, the dude it. that lives in the van next to their house. Another Martin line that fucking killed me. Ready? 
Oh God, I want to get up the clip because I'll, I'll butcher it. But there's a there's, <laughs> there's a little kid. He's like fucking five years old, and he says a line to Martin. He goes, "But Martin, I don't want to go to school today." And then Martin just goes, "But Martin." I don't want to go to school. Yeah. He just mocks a five-year-old yeah. to his fucking face. Like, imagine what that kid's going through, right? It's like his parents are juicing him up that day. Yeah. You're on a major, mo- you're in a major sitcom. This could make or break us. You know, parents talk like that about their like Ooh, little yeah. stage kids or whatever, like that. Go out there and kill it. Don't you just got to get your lines right? And Martin's fucking <laughs> improving with the kid. The kid got and making fun of the poor kid. This yeah. guy was hilarious. <laughs> this guy's a genius. Yeah, I think you're really getting caught on the Martin versus Seinfeld thing. Where it was, we were both agreed. We can acknowledge that. We that. all like Martin. No, no. I, I, but we could, we could all say who's Martin better? was a good show. Martin, Martin, as who's a better lead, Martin or Seinfeld? Well, Martin, Martin could act. Yes, yeah, Seinfeld couldn't act. That's the problem. That's why I'm saying Seinfeld surrounded himself yeah. with a great. With He's a, so much that, better on his show, where he just gets to be his weird self. Yeah. Yeah. His weird, arrogant self. It's yeah. the best part about him. Yeah. It's, it's the first time you're like, oh, I know who Seinfeld is. Completely understand him. Yeah. How is he arrogant and likable? It's odd. <laughs> yeah, because he's- Because he's talented. Because he's no bullshit, though, and he's I always been it. that way. Even yeah. since he, before he got famous, he was always kind of like this, like, you know, you do weird shit, and he kind of gives you a look. Like, he's he's not afraid to- uh... He's a kid I would have beat the shit out of <laughs> in high school, though. <laughs> I would have beat the fuck out of him in high school. He would have said some dumb smug shit with that confidence, and I would have yeah. threw him straight through a trophy which is, case. Which is, which is warranted. Warranted, no one.